You know, a major part of metalworking, welding, fabricating is cutting. Now, plasma cutting, of course, it's a high efficiency, low cost way to cut heavy plate. But adaptively cutting heavy plate, of course, requires knowing your machine settings. Now, in the past, it required a very skilled operator who really knew his machine. There was a tremendous sense of feel to get not just an, an economical fast cut, but a cut with sufficient quality that you can move on to secondary stages like welding without extensive dressing of the cut. I'm with Dominique Petitier, District Sales Manager at Hypertherm. And Dominique, I understand new generations of equipment now don't require so much expertise on the part of the, the user to set the machine up for a good quality cut. Correct, yes, uh, we have design equipment that we call SmartSense technology. Um, and SmartSense technology would adjust the pressure for cutting and, gou and gouging automatically. And this is why we have created different kinds of uh, torches uh, to adapt those different process. So you have uh, the 75 degree torch for cutting and gouging, but also you can use our 15 degree torch that is more um, for gouging purposes. Um, and the fact that the machine will adjust, uh, you can prepare the torch in advance, one with the cutting consumables and the other one with gouging consumables, and disconnect the torch, reconnect, reset, and be ready to go right away because every time you move uh, the process, the air would, will adjust um, to the pressure that you need for uh, the process by itself. So one machine for both processes? One machine for both processes, okay. yes. Uh, high productivity shops, I'm typically used to seeing a separate machine, specifically one set up for each process yes. to jump from, from stage to stage because they don't want to take the time to reconfigure the, the machine in between. How yes. fast to change over then? You just did this in a few seconds. A few seconds, yeah. If you're prepared in advance and your torturers are, are already prepared with the, the right consumables, just uh, very quickly ready for um, a process of cutting or gouging, yes. And which applications, which industries would most benefit from this? Would this be structural steel, uh, heavy fabrication? Everything. Uh, Dominique, which materials in particular are best suited? Mild steels, alloy steels, um, uh, lightweight materials, aluminum? Anything that's conductive. Yes. And so, uh, typically, I, when I think of course uh, equipment like this, I'm thinking of um, shipbuilding. Yes. I, I think typically of, of structural steel yes. for, for like, uh, bridge building, yes. like, like, lean applications. Is it uh, productivity? It's important on mass production of small things. We don't tend to think of productivity being important for large, heavy structural applications. Do you find are your customers chasing more productivity these days? Is it yes, fine? they are. That's the major thing. Uh, you know, uh, we want to be productive. It's costing so much to cut to cut that you need to have something that. Uh, operation cost is the lowest as possible and um, the reliability is there as well. It's important for them to have a good equipment that will last for a long time, you know? Mm. Uh, Dominique, compared to oxy fuel cutting, we think yes. of it in, uh, historically when we think of the shipbuilding, the heavy fab, we saw a lot of oxy, oxy fuel cutting. It requires very, very much skill for a skilled yes. operator. Uh, consumables are expensive. Consumables are dangerous in those industries yes. too, this kind of thing. But I understand that, uh, that the state of the art of this technology is advanced now, so it doesn't require quite so much skill with a dangerous thing like oxy fuel to, to make clean, good cuts. Yes, correct. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but um, Hypertherm has developed shielding technology. Shielding technology means that you're able to touch the surface with our consumables when you cut. So this allows you to um, make yourself a steel um, a jig or use a steel plate to drag the surface and guide yourself. So it's a lot easier for um, someone that never used plasma before uh, to be good at it. With Oxyfuel, you need to be preheating the surface. You need to be good at adjusting regulator. You need to have a good hand, maintain a distance from the surface. With plasma, you don't have to do that. You just Put hair, power, fire the torch, transfer the arc, and just drag the surface and you are ready to go. And also with all the parameters, the smart sense technology, um, the operator doesn't have to do anything else than put the right consumable on, select the amperage, the process, and do the job. You're good to go. Let's see it in action. Okay, let's do it. All right, so um, basically what I just did was cutting with flush cut consumables. Our flush cut consumables are um, two operation and one set of consumables at one mode. So I first started with 105 at cutting mode. I just cut my lug um, 
vertical base here uh, basically really fast and I'm trying to leave a little of the material because after that I'm dropping my amperage to be able to just flush mm -hmm. slowly material and just leaving just a little enough so they can grind the, ba the balance of the material left. Um, the goal is to maintain the base. We, we do not want to touch the base um, and it's a very fast process to do it in one operation. Hypertherm's PowerMax 105 gouging and cutting with the same machines as Dominique Patadi from Hypertherm.